So homeschooling is a different kind of education. How do we do it better? What are the best homeschool techniques? Are we missing some secret sauce? I don't have any secret sauce, but I do have the three best homeschool techniques to share with you today. I'm Misty Winkler. You're watching Simply Convivial. Convivial means living life together cheerfully. And that's what we want for our homeschools. Soon, my new book will be coming out. It's titled The Convivial Homeschool, Gospel Encouragement for Living and Learning Alongside Your Kids. It will give you the pep talk and vision that you need during the hard days, the long days of homeschooling. Check it out wherever you buy books or at convivialhomeschool.com. Everyone wants to know the best homeschool techniques, right? That's what Google is for, isn't it? To tell us the best things, the pieces that we are missing. When homeschool days go bad, we wonder if we're missing something or if there are better ways out there that we just don't know about. We want a lovely homeschool lifestyle full of laughter and joy and definitely lots of learning without tears. How's a homeschool mom supposed to make that happen? Is it possible? Let's dig in. Okay, best homeschool technique, number one, manage your expectations. Too often we get blindsided by our day and by other people's responses when we really shouldn't be. We wake up and start the day assuming, expecting. People will do what they're told, learn their lessons, do the work, and get along. When our expectations are not in line with reality, we are doomed to frustration. We don't get a good day through wishful thinking or by avoiding the difficult truth. We get a good day after fighting the good fight, the fight against our own sin. Our expectation for each and every homeschool day needs to be that both we and our children will respond sinfully to each other and to our duties and to God. Our commitment needs to be that as much as we sin, we repent. When our children sin, we won't match it with our own sin, but we'll work with them towards repentance and restoration. God's will is our sanctification, our growth in Christ, and that is never stagnant or figured out once and for all until Jesus comes back. Our expectation, therefore, ought never to be that we will get our system entirely ironed out and working 100%. Our expectation ought to be that we will continually grow in faithfulness more and more over the course of our whole lives. Okay, best homeschool technique, number two, pay attention. If we read anyone on the topic of schooling, education, or learning, they will invariably point out how vital attention is to the process. We know that our kids need to pay attention, and we know that they have a hard time doing so. But what about our own attention? Are we paying attention to the book that we're reading aloud? Are we paying attention to the math equation we're helping with? Are we paying attention to who is doing what where? The success and effectiveness of our homeschool learning environment begins not with the attention of our kids, as vital as that is, but with the attention of the leader, the mother, us. Best homeschool technique, and number three, repent always. Education begins with repentance, with humility, with letting down our defenses and admitting that we were wrong. If we're educating, that will happen every day for us and our children. If we're growing in Christ, 
it will happen every day. We have to be prepared to lead the way ourselves in repentance, asking our children's forgiveness when we sin against them, and showing them that it is not a big deal to admit when we were wrong and to change direction to do the right thing. And that's how we repent so we can rejoice and we do it on repeat. How does your homeschool measure up? Take the Get Real Homeschool Quiz to align your expectations, to diagnose how you are doing and which piece of your homeschool you need to strengthen the most. The Get Real Quiz will help you figure out which of the four essential pieces of homeschooling you are weakest in, and it will give you several simple strategies to build up that weakest link in your homeschool. Check it out at simplyconvivial.com slash homeschool. Take the get real quiz at simplyconvivial.com slash homeschool. It will help you build a convivial homeschool by repenting and rejoicing and repeating.